mentioned in uh, one of uh, my other uh, clips that um, we can't use artificial nitrogen and so uh, we use clover for building fertility. Uh, the other thing we can use is uh, green waste compost and this is uh, part of a load of about three and a half thousand tonnes that we brought in this year to spread uh, on our land. Um, it doesn't contain a huge amount of nitrogen and to get on the 170 kilograms per hectare which we're allowed to put on under the nitrate vulnerable zones regulations uh, it puts on about um, uh, we have to put it on at about 30 tonnes a hectare to get the 170 kilograms of nitrogen. I mean, that nitrogen is not all available in the first year, but it does become available over the course of the rotation, which is a slow-release way of putting nitrogen on, uh, which is good for our rotation. It also contains uh, trace elements. Um, it contains uh, phosphates and potash, sulphur and other bits and pieces that are useful for plant growth. Um, but the main thing we put it on is for a soil condition and not as a fertiliser and it adds organic matter to the soil and uh, over a long period of time it uh, increases the soil's ca capacity to hold water to keep it moist and in the very dry springs we've been having over the last two or three years I think that's going to be of huge importance and certainly where we put compost on in the last uh, two years in the last two droughts uh, you can see where it's gone because the crop has looked like it hasn't been as thirsty as where we haven't put compost on uh, and the other thing is it helps um, uh, build up the organic matter in the soils. Uh, one thing that organic farmers are particularly keen to, to um, increase. Um, the consequences of more organic matter means that uh, the, the, the soil also works better. So it, costs, it, it, it uses less, uh, you need less horsepower to work your soil because its workability is, is increased and uh, made much more easier and so we um, have less cost in wearing parts on our on our tractors and use less fuel doing it so it's all very good for the environment. Uh, the only downside to this plastic and I don't know what it's like in other countries but in the UK uh, we still find quite a bit of plastic in it and as you can see um, here there's a little bit of plastic and in the heat it sort of shrivels up a little bit because uh, it does get very hot in this compost but it's something that really has to be addressed um, because essentially you're, you're spreading these little bits of plastic across your farm which I don't know about you but I'm not keen on that at all uh, so that has to be addressed it's the only stuff we can get locally at the moment but hopefully the company that provides us are doing something about it um, but as you can see when you dig into the um, Sorry, my shadow's in the way. Um, you can see that you know you can see the sort of mold sort of growing, and it's very hot. You can, I can hardly actually put my hand in it. But it's uh, it's it's I, I think it's good stuff. It's got to be uh, it's good for the soil, uh, even though the yield benefits from it are not seen in uh, the first year. It costs money to put it on. You don't get it in return in increased yield. I think over the long term uh, we will, uh, and I think it's got to be the way forward.